together, Sorry. you are often to all of us. This is why I wrote this down. Our routines were upended and our sense of normalcy was shaken. You are often to all of us names with blank screen. We talked endlessly, hoping that you were there, but truthfully, we weren't sure. McCulloch, as we knew it, ceased to exist because we were missing our heartbeat, all of you. I remember when I learned we were going to be able to start bringing you back into classrooms and the insane mix of emotions that surrounded all of us. We were willing to do anything we could to safely bring you all back something to something that was at least just a little bit more normal. Hard days followed us in the seventh grade, and they always do. Seventh grade is, is pretty terrible, right? Okay. Uh, we can just skip that one. That would be great. Um, for a time, I thought TikTok might have completely swallowed up your brains. <laughs> a global pandemic paled in comparison to the mind control of social media and the sinister, devious lick. <laughs> you laugh, we cry. <laughs> what did you do with all that bathroom stuff? Parents, if you have any of our, our bathroom partitions, please bring them back. What I will never forget... It was the moment I knew everything was going to be okay. Slowly but surely, as your masks began to come off, it was there clear as day. It had been there all along, but we couldn't see it. Your smiles. For me, your smiles brought light into the darkness and breathed much needed light back into the classrooms and hallways that we have shared together all this time. You became Abby, Nicor, Ava, Carmen, Josiah, and Cash. We became, in the following days, weeks, and months, bound together and connected in a way I think we all had been missing for some time. It was the emancipation of sorts from isolation and reminded me of the reflections of Martin Luther King Jr. when he was sharing his thoughts from the Birmingham jail cell. He said, in a real sense, all life is interrelated. All men and women are caught in the inescapable network of mutuality. Tied in a single garment of destiny, whatever affects one directly, affects all indirectly. I can never be what I ought to be until you are what you ought to be. And you can never be what you ought to be until I am what I ought to be. We became what we always were intended to be. Something that for hundreds of years we have struggled to do as a country, as a nation, and in this community. But we are strong. We are Park Hill strong. We are Central Park strong. We are Lowry strong. We are Northfield strong. This community is resilient. Northeast Park Hill, Northeast Denver, is the diamond of this city. And you all are our ambassadors. Now anyone who knows me just a little bit knows that I have the capacity to carry on up here for quite some time. <laughs> I'm the son of a preacher man. And I'll be honest, it's tempting. This, is, this feels good. <laughs> In reflection, however, there isn't anything more I can say that this evening that I likely have not said to all of you already. And more importantly, that came in conversations one-on-one, -on -one, in my office, or in the hallways, 
usually with tears. Mia, lots of tears. But the memories that I'll carry with me for the rest of my life. So let me get right to the crux of it. And I'm gonna speak students to you directly, which is difficult to do. It is one, this is from a friend. It is one of the greatest joys of my life to serve you all and to serve this community. Our staff, our leaders, team sitting behind me, love you all to the deepest, deepest depths of our heart. And that's, that's no joke. That is why I've been here for 10 years, is to be with teachers and community who know how to love students deep down to the core. You are talented. You are intelligent. You are inspiring. And you are the answer in this backwards and upside down world. You have opened up your hearts and minds to the possibility and you are the harbingers of hope. We believe in your ability to love, to learn, and to continue to open up your hearts and minds. No, I said that. <laughs> to learn and continue to make this community and our world a more compassionate, inclusive, and welcoming place for all. No joke, guys, you, your middle school is a middle school that some of us dreamed of for years. I have never been part of, and I'm ripping now, I have never been part of a middle school community that has been so welcoming, open, honest, loving. I remember when there was something to be afraid of in middle school for who you were or what you believed or what you thought or who you worshiped. Not you guys. This place will forever be your home, and you will always be part of it because McCullough is you. So I'm gonna wrap tonight by doing what I've always done, making a fool of myself for your pleasure. <laughs> That's how you engage kids. Uh, but to be truthful, I wanted to, to end tonight um, by doing something that, quite honestly, I only do for my girls, and something that I remember, and this is tough, in the days when we would drive them to school, during the pandemic, in moments of uncertainty and challenge, on days when the electricity in the school wasn't working, <laughs> and the thunder was booming while we were trying to have continuation, We sang a song together, and I am not a singer, <laughs> but I will be for you. Oh boy. Oh boy.